What's up guys, it's Cosmo the Coder, or CTC as I may start calling myself, but we'll, we'll get to that another time. And this video is going to be a little bit of a, a rant. Now I don't usually like doing video rants for a number of reasons. I think it's a bit sort of, I'm shouting at, this, at the camera and everyone should listen to me thing. And it just seems a bit petty to me. But I'm going to do it just because I want to get this off my chest. I want to speak out about this and just generally sort of make people understand why I want to do it, why I'm annoyed. So this morning, I give you the morning, I woke up uh, to the sound of my kids stomping down the stairs and go through the usual routine of breakfast and second breakfast and you know, getting my wife sorted and helping them sort my baby and getting them off to school and everything. Um, you know, before the, the school run everything, I, I switch on my well. I, I open my phone, look at the headlines, see what's been going on, Twitter, news sites, news sites, sort I of and something instantly catches my eye. And you know, as you may have seen, I've been playing Batman Arkham Knight on PC, just like many other people. And so far, it's been okay. It, it's not uh, not exactly been the best game in the world because graphically speaking you know I know I'm not running it at full spec at full high res but it is you know it's 1080p it's good great looking it's, it's so far I haven't had any of the issues that people have been sort of saying that you having like stuttering or or at least I haven't noticed it but as of this morning on Thursday the 25th so two days two days after it was released Warner pulled Arkham Knight out of Steam. They literally suspended its sales, which is, which, which to me is completely unheard of in this day and age. I mean, what a, a, a triple A game released being pulled off of the store because of, you know, issues. It just it has never happened before. It, it's incredible to think that it, this is the first time it's ever really happened, and. I understand why they did it, completely understand why they did it, and it makes sense, but if it was me, I'd rather they did the, did sort of small micro patches to slowly fix things, so that people could actually see it's being fixed, and, and try and help the community, try and make the community see you're doing something about it. But that's just me, and I don't understand the full situation, I don't understand how, they, how they're programming it, who's fixing it, anything. So that's just, that's just a, a blind, the blind idea. So just ignore that. Don't worry about that. But it's an it's another one of those things that annoys the shit out of me. It's sort of like, well, why? Out of out of everything that could have gone wrong, why on earth is the PC release the release that is full of bugs, full of problems, not done right? You know, people would have rather the game be delayed on PC for a few weeks then it come out like it did full of glitches full of issues and it, and yet it didn't and what's worse is it took the it took Rocksteady one day to admit oh yeah there's a problem and then Warner said oh we have to actually pull the game you know so they got all the pre-orders they got all the cash from the pre-orders the day one stuff the day two stuff they got all this money coming in and they said, oh, you know what, we'll pull, pull the PC release. Which is, what's worse, is that now means anyone in the UK can't buy it. Because we didn't get a physical copy. We don't get physical copies in the UK. We have to go digital. So it's completely off the sale in Steam. Now, you can still get codes for it. You can still, you know, redeem the codes for it. But it just, it's, wow. I'm, I'm just so annoyed. This is, uh, yes, again... Yet again, in the last year, three, three AAA games, three high-end games that you expect to work properly, correctly, on, on both consoles and PC, have come out full of bugs, full of mistakes, and full of issues. And the general sort of feeling from the studios is, oh, it doesn't matter, it's just PC, we don't want to know. What? What? Seriously? You're, you're basically going to crap on PC owners and say, oh, you, you don't matter that much. The consoles are our priority. 
when it comes to when it comes to money, and it all comes down to money. That's the key issue here. It's money. It's pressure from studios. You know, Sony wouldn't let wouldn't let that slide. Microsoft wouldn't let that slide. Windows PCs, we don't care. <laughs> you know, it, it's something that is so ignorant of the the, the whole format that it just pisses me off. Something chronic. And you know, I mean, look at the, the three games you, you look at that. You're looking at now Assassin's Creed Unity. Yes, was full of bugs on all of the three systems: Xbox One, PS4, PC. Now a lot of issues were on PC. There were issues on the other consoles. Don't get me wrong, but the main issues were on PC. Now I played that game. I tried to enjoy the game, and it did work for a bit. And then I couldn't find that I couldn't stream at 720p. I couldn't really do anything. So my videos on YouTube stopped. I stopped playing that game. I mean, I bought the whole game and its season pass. I spent money on that and I haven't played it. I stopped playing it because it was just impossible to play. Now I will go back to it, I hope. I even, you know, I even bought, I even used the um, redeem a game thing. So said, we're very sorry, here's a game for you. Please redeem it. So I did. And I hope to play that one as well. I can't remember what on earth I redeemed now. It's gone completely out of my head, but pff, doesn't matter. But at least they, you know, they apologised and hopefully they'll fi they fixed most of the problems right now. But the next, I mean, the next game in the list was Mortal MKX, Mortal Kombat X, a game that worked pretty well on consoles, ran like shit on PC. Again, and not and just, and just also the release. The release on PC was a joke. It wasn't released properly. It was. It's supposed to be using this new Steam system, that, that fragment that chopped up all the bits, so it, it downloaded it as you played. But no one released it properly. They released the game and didn't unlock anything. I said, oh, we're very sorry. Oh, we're getting it all sorted. Oh, oh, okay. And a couple of days later, it was released. And a couple of days later, they sort of fixed a few things and everything. But when it was actually released, it was like, oh, it's gone. It was like crap. The speed's horrible. The net code's crap. It was the same thing over and over and over again. And, you know, I played the campaign, I played the crypt, and I just stopped again because, you know, I, I plan to do some experimentation with some characters. I plan to do a few little bits and pieces with online play, and it just, it just mired the whole experience, you know? It, it just ruined it, ruined it completely for, for me, and I just felt like, you know, what's the point? By the time I've actually finished playing it, you know, I'm, I enjoyed the game, don't get me wrong, the game was fun, just like every Mortal Kombat game, and I did play a bit of online play, but it was just impossible, you know, it's, it's one of the biggest problems with that kind of stuff, and I know the online play is affecting, you know, other con the consoles as well, I'm not just saying it's PC only, but what I'm saying is that the PC suffered from launch day. Now, to Batman Arkham Knight. You know, the if you look at the Steam reviews of of it, they are you know in the toilet because of all this, because of all the stuttering effects, because of the AMD stuff. Now, for Rocksteady to turn around and say yes, you know what, hands up, we made it, we we outsourced it. it it's not suitable, it's not acceptable, and for Warner to pull it, you know, that is good in this way that it sort of says there's big problems. We're very sorry. We'll try and sort them. But you sort of have to ask the question, who the hell signed off on it? Who the hell looked at it and said, oh, you know what, that, that, that works okay, we, we can release that. You know, Rocksteady have released all the previous Arkham games, well, apart from Origins or whatever you want to call it, you know. Granted, that was written by someone else, but well, never mind. The fact is, it's come out on PC, and yeah, there have been a few issues at launch, but they've been fixable. But nothing like this. Nothing at all. And it just seems to me that once again the PC is being crapped on. And yet again, you have to ask the question: Why? I mean, Grand Theft Auto V is a brilliant ex example of a game that deserved to be on PC. You know, when it was first released on consoles, I thought, well, how? how everyone wondered how long is it going to take to come to PC? Because Grand Theft Auto IV took ages, and Grand Theft Auto V took even longer than that. 
because you had the HD version on the next gen consoles and then we still had to wait another six months after that for it to come to PC and when it did everyone was saying wow we can now have it at the, the high 4k resolutions we can have you know all this kind of cool stuff and it's even it's far better graphically than the consoles and so on and so on and so on and they're right it is you know we have better graphic options and everything like that but unless you're a graphic you know a graphic manga or someone who wants to see all these fantastic high resolution graphics you just want to play the game you know it, it doesn't matter that kind of stuff can be added in over time i mean take the witcher the witcher 3 was released in my opinion perfectly it was on pc it was on xbox it was on playstation 3 yeah there were some issues which they sort of fixed over time but it worked really well and what was best what was really cool for pc is they released things to patches to allow the people to upgrade the graphics because one of the biggest criticisms when it first came out on pc was it doesn't look like it did in e3 and the, um, I keep, CD Project, that's it, said, oh yeah, you're right, it's okay, don't worry, we had to release a base level, here's all the advanced graphic options, here's all the extra bits that you, you should have as PC owners, and they did that ex exceptionally well. That was a good release. This, th this is a mistake. This was an absolute balls up. And yet again, it's, it's on PC. See, this is why I don't rant, because I go round around in circles and I think, I think oh my god, I've got to stop talking. Ugh. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to stop now. But I think this is, you know, this is generally me being pissed off. Because the other reason I'm pissed off for is I actually have two copies of Batman. I bought the premium edition and I managed to get a second key, or keys, because it's two, in two parts. Um, because you get the Harley Quinn DLC separately and stuff. It, 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 never mind. I was actually going to do a giveaway. Now, I don't do giveaways. I don't do giveaways on YouTube. I don't do giveaways on Twitch. I don't do giveaways, period. Because I don't want to seem like I'm buying views or buying subscribers or buying followers or whatever you want to call it. Okay, I'm part of an affiliate program with Green Man Gaming. But I don't plug it other than in comments or the, or the panels on Twitch. I don't do that. Because I don't want people to, to watch me to get cool stuff. I want them to watch me because they enjoy watching me. You know, and I know there's people that do exactly that and there's people who do other things. I'm trying to find a sort of a balance between those two things. But I had this key for the premium edition and I got it quite cheap. And I thought, you know what, I'll offer it. I'll offer it. The first stream, I'll turn things on and I'll offer it. And I'll say, you know, come along. Have a look, uh, watch me enter a competition or whatever, and you can win this 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 key. Now, obviously, launch day, not many people joined the stream, but after seeing all the negative reviews, after seeing all the bugs that were being reported and everything, I just thought, you know what, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I even looked on um, what's it called, G two A. Now, I don't, I've used G two A in the past to sell spare keys. That I've got from, you know, from add-on packs or humble bumble, hum, humble bundles. <laughs> not no, not humble bundles. What am I talking about? Because you don't, I don't sell humble bundles. Uh, from uh, from bundles, basically bundles of keys that I already got hold of, and I thought, I think you're, you know what? Let's just get rid of them. Let's give them to someone who wants them, and I sell them at ridiculous amounts of like dollars, basically, and. I thought I had a look and see how much it was, and it started off like up here. Now, for the amount I paid, let's say the amount I paid is here. Oh, there, you can't see on the camera. And the amount on G2A was up here. By, in the space of four hours, it was down there. Okay? It was below what I paid for it. So, even, I can't get rid of it, I can't sell it. And even now, I can't sell it because it's been pulled from Steam. So, no one can get it. So it's just, I've got this spare key lying around that no one can have. <laughs> well, anyway, I'm, I'm going to stop now because I want to go and play Batman and see if it's still working or if it's broken or whatever. But this is me yet again saying, you know, come on, guys, seriously. The PC is a fantastic platform, an awesome platform. What other platform 
can you you has like 30 plus years of gaming history available for it and you know it's just getting bigger and bigger you can you can play games from the 80s from the 90s from the you know from the 2000s from the you know from the modern day stuff you know you're talking this is the only system that lets you do that it's backwards compatible with pretty much everything there is out there and anything that isn't backwards compatible is being worked on in some regard you know there are ways around stuff there's ways to get it to work and you can play everything from you know all the way back to the first doom or lemmings or you know the lucas arts adventure games you know classic classic games of gaming history are playable on pc it's a format that has the most power the most energy the most important fan base because you only have to look at independent gaming to see it's there it, it's a fan it's a great format and it's being ignored it's being left behind by companies who just want to make the money who are only interested in the money and just want to say oh you know what it works fine on xbox it works fine on on playstation it doesn't matter if it was actually built on a computer on a pc as long as it works with the consoles we can we can figure out all the bugs and issues in the pc later fine you know what you're gonna lose people you're gonna lose customers from that the number of people i've seen on forums on things saying you know steam's lost customers Warner's lost customers. I'm not going to do, buy from them ever again. You know, they don't care. They care about this, you know, and that's what they've got now. So, you know, I'm hoping, you know, fingers crossed that Rocksteady or whoever, you know, fix it and put it back on sale and everyone says, phew, you know, thank God I can enjoy this game properly. Because, you know, from what I've played of it, granted two hours worth, and I'm probably going to get maybe one hour now after this rant, it's a good game. It's a fun game. It's Batman. It's, it's, it's going to be a great game to play. But we've got to get over these bugs. We've got to get over these issues. Right. I'm going to stop there <laughs> because I've got an hour and nine minutes left to play before I'm going to need to go to bed. So... Once again, please fix Batman Arkham Knight because I, you're just, please. <laughs> right, Cosmo the Code is signing out. Bye-bye.